what the pilot always said is that yes, now in this case the artwork was done in the factory before it left the United States, not in the field, which is where most of it was done. First crew picked up this aircraft and ferried it themselves, and an artist had already been acquired to paint it. The pilot said that he asked the co-pilot to get the crew together and choose a name, and they would paint it on. We also occasionally get, you know, in school groups particularly, have gotten, you know, children who, you know, sometimes their fathers, their grandfathers and now great-grandfathers did extraordinary things. This was quite a long time ago, and the pilot, it's possible that his grandchildren lived in this area because the child had told the other guy this, quiz the child more to get more information, and that child said, my grandma has red hair. But the truth is nobody knows for sure where the name came from, okay, except that's what it's called. Now, there is something about her that's historically inaccurate because throughout most of World War II, that lady was not wearing that blue bathing suit. She was a much naughtier lady. Now, we chose that bathing suit because there are pictures of her taken during World War II when she does have it, pictures taken one day when she was naked, pictures taken a couple days later when she was dressed, and pictures taken after that where she was undressed because it wasn't uncommon if somebody was going to be visiting the base who would object to naughty ladies, they made them less naughty. Now, this aircraft had a crew of six, I believe. I think so. How about the B-17? B-17 is a crew of ten. Crew of ten. And I wouldn't, let's see, because this should be simple. 